back for another video leave a like comment subscribe and today i'm here to help you take your i rating from looking like this to something like this and me personally you guys know i racing's ui doesn't give you the most information i was looking for a map a track map and i found i overlay this is the best free overlay for i racing in my opinion if you want to get the paid version, it gives you even more features, but we're going to go through the whole thing. I tried Race Lab and it was cool, not my style. And I tried SimHub. SimHub uses a lot of resources. I wanted something that goes seamlessly with iRacing. We didn't have to set this up. We didn't have to connect the app. It was all good once we downloaded it. I overlay recognized iRacing and it was only F6 to turn it on and F6 to turn it off. So I'm gonna leave a link down below, but once you download iOverlay, it should look something like this and you will have the free version. If you wanna get pro, you can click it, you can see how much it is. But with all the pro options, you get a spotter, a pit helper, inputs, inputs graph, traffic indicator, which this one is interesting. It gives you a warning notification in multi-class sessions when there is a faster class driver within three seconds behind you and then this window becomes active. I didn't know they had this, a flat map, a delta bar, which this is something I would like to have as a delta. But the good thing about iOverlay is you can test and see all of these. Even if you don't have the pro version, you can turn them on and see what they'll look like to see if you even wanna buy the pro version. You can use different overlays for yourself. So what you see, and if you stream on any service, Twitch, YouTube, you can have them see different overlays. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. If you guys do stream, you guys know how much this is useful. Setting this up was pretty simple. All you have to do is click F6 and they pop up right here. You can move them. You can come in here if you want to resize them. All you need to do is come into I overlay and let's say we're talking about our standings over here in the top left. All you want to do is go to overlay size, unclick, use general, and then you want to enter in the size of points in here. I go with 16. You guys can go up and see how big you want it. And then you can see it reappears and gets bigger. You can do that for everything over here. Another good feature about eye overlay is you can set the overlay to only turn on when you're in the car or out of the car, spotting or in a garage. So I have it only in car and spotting, which makes sense. If I'm in the car, I want the overlays on. You guys know how eye racing works. You're not really outside of the car a lot unless you're watching replays. And then I can come in here and turn them on if I want it in the replay or not, but it's always on in the car. So it doesn't show when I'm in the menus. It doesn't show when I'm loading up the sim, which is great, but it works just like that. All you have to do is download it and seamlessly works with iRacing. It's crazy. You can import export settings. If you come here, you can click and you can do different setups for race practice and qualify. You click your race preview. It'll be different from your qualified preview. And then you come back to live just to make sure that it's working when you're in the game. This is what it looks like. And this was my initial reactions to it. I overlays work great. They work great. I didn't have to set anything up. All I had to do was tick some options. And it's all good, Chuck. Okay, the standards are working. The map is working. They also have a Delta. They have a bunch of stuff you can get with Pro. Pro gives you more options, but you do have to pay now. Unfortunately. So we're just using all the free options here. It's all here. It's not too fancy. It's not too complicated. All I really had to do was come in here and click on a couple things, click off a couple things. You want to go into general and you want to come in here and look at all of these settings. Turn on and off what you don't want. It's pretty simple. I want something that's seamless with iRacing that I don't have to script or turn on. This is another program. And then you just want to minimize this. And when you go into iRacing, it'll seamlessly work. This is one of the best apps. A problem I did run into is you can only use overlays in iRacing when windowed. So you guys know if you use windows, what it looks like. If you want to use the overlay, when you click F6, you'll have the problem that it'll go to windowed and you can only see the overlay when you're in windowed. If you want to use it in full screen, what you have to do is open up where your iRacing file is. 
and then we'll open up our documents we'll go to iRacing and we'll come down here to render dx11 monitor you want to double click this and open it up and in here let's turn our overlay off with f6 and in here all you want to do is scroll down to the bottom until you see on the left side right here is going to say display you need to find display and then these are the settings that you're going to change you want to come down here and where it says full screen you want to change this to zero and on the bottom where it says border you want to change this to zero that's going to take away the border when you use it full screen and for window mode and then up here window width you're going to want to change this to the resolution of your monitor so i'm using a 1440p monitor my resolution is 2560 by 1440 and this is the width this is the height it'll be just a little bit different because of course it was windowed you want to change this to be the same resolution of your monitor and then you just want to hit file save and that'll save it in your windowed mode and now be the same resolution as your screen is and it'll come out full screen whether you're using windowed or not I hope you guys appreciate this tutorial. This would be some gameplay with the eye overlay. This is the best overlay in 2025, in my opinion. Hopefully this gives you guys all the information you need and it can help you just like it helped me. You can hear them bashing. Man, this is crazy. We finally got all the information we need and I'm confident to just race now. Exit than him. Let's see if we can get a run. Yeah, I know his car is messed up. I know it is. 55.252. I have an easy drive. Left side. Clear, clear, clear. Switch back. 